Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the report from Tiger Mountain. We're going to talk about award ceremonies and tokenism and the liberal elite. Join us on this special report. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the latest bullshit um, is, of course, the liberal elite and how they're always talking about, like, there are never enough women, um, you know, who have awards and award ceremonies. Whenever the Golden Globes or the Academy Awards come around, oh, there's not enough women nominated and there's never enough minorities nominated and um, there's never enough um, pe members of the LBG community and there's never enough member of the trans community being nominated for awards, right? So, you know, I mean... But the weird thing is, is the way they talk about them, they always talk, it's like it's got special needs. It's like they're talking about, like, the Special Olympics. And that they're saying that these people, no, they're not equal. They, they don't just play on a level playing field with the rest of us. The liberal elite always talk about them as if they need a special hand up. As if it's like, oh, the poor dears, you know. Oh, look at them in their wheelchairs. And you know, look, oh, they're hobbling around with, their, with their, their disabilities. I mean, this is the way that the liberal elite actually think about women, minorities, um, you know, this whole gender identity politics and sexual identity politics it's absolutely insulting and ridiculous and it's amazing no one actually points it out about them because if they actually were playing on a level playing field this issue wouldn't be an issue it would be like is that the best film you know i mean is is parasite a better film than the irishman by martin scorsese or is is like um i don't know that one that was that jane austen film that was made by that woman um recently uh, little women was is that better than um the new quentin tarantino film um you know once upon a time in hollywood that's a level playing field but no, they never talk about that. They say, oh, the little woman film, you know, should be, should get the award or the, or the nomination above the Quentin Town because he's a white man, you see. And like, you know, like, God forbid, you know, like the poor, the poor woman, you know, she needs a special hand up. And, you know, I mean, this is the psychology of the liberal elite. And I think it, it's really, if you think about it, it's counterintuitively really insulting to the very, um, you know, like groups that they're supposedly promoting. Um, you know, for example, the film that won the best film at uh, this year's Academy Award, Parasite. You know, I mean, it wasn't a bad film. I mean, I, I, I saw that film, and it's and it's following in the uh, it's called Parasite, and it's following in the in the kind of vein of you know these weird kind of genre films that deal with kind of like the corrupt and evil side of human nature. There's been a long. Um, uh, list of these kind of films that have come out of Korea, and it's actually an interesting um, vein of um, independent cinema. It started with a film called The Isle by Kim Ki Duk. It came out around 1999, and there's been a whole stack of weird, um, like Lady Vengeance, and a whole bunch of other interesting films that have come out of Korea. They've got to be very interesting genre films, right? And um, so, you know, this one, I, you know, in a sense, it was very odd that it won Best Film, because I just said, I, I thought it was a decent film in that genre of unusual kind of Korean films, but it wasn't the best film. It was going up against, you know, The Irishman, it was going up against Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, it was going up against a whole bunch of, you know, actually pretty decent films, and, um, you know, okay, won Best Film. I mean, you know, that was, to me, was a, it, it is an example of this Hollywood tokenism that they love to push at the moment, and I think it's actually insulting, um, uh, um, rather than it being what it's supposed to be, which is, oh, look how, you know, how woke we are. Because, you know, I mean, that's the whole purpose of this. You know, the reason that the Hollywood elite, you know, voted Parasite is so they could say to that filmmaker, um, oh, look, you know, um, well done, congratulations, your, your film Parasite is one, but this is all about us. We want to look, we want to look woke, you know what I mean? We want to look like we're, we're obviously we're going to pick for best film. We're going to pick a film from Korea. No, it's never happened before. And in, in the history of the Academy Awards has the best foreign film won the best picture award. Now it has. Isn't that wonderful? See, we're all such wonderful people here in Hollywood. And no, we're not friends with Harvey Weinstein or Jeffrey Epstein, even though we totally are. And um, you know, so uh, that's exactly what's going on. It's a distraction. It's a load of bullshit. And um, it's just, it's nonsense. Um, and it's again, Hollywood trying to signal that they're good people without actually being good people, you know what I mean? And I think that's exactly what's going on at the moment with this whole agenda, with this whole, you know, like, oh, you know, is there enough women being nominated? Is there enough? No, they just want to signal that they're good. They don't want to actually want to change Hollywood. They don't want to actually make it a, um, what's it called? A, um, a level playing field, which is what they always talk about. No, it's always going to be kind of um, prejudiced in favour of the elite who rule Hollywood, who we all know that is. Let's not get into that topic. But, like, um, you know, it's ridiculous. And uh, I think we should uh, oppose this kind of woke culture. And, you know, I mean, obviously Ricky Gervais did it uh, beautifully at the Golden Globes, where he just, you know, took them all to the fucking woodshed and it was fucking hilarious and brilliant. So, um, you know, I'd say, you know, again, fuck you, Hollywood. And, um, you know, forget this woke culture. Just judge a film 
um, you know, on whether it's good or not who made it. You know what I mean? If it's great and a woman directed it, fantastic, award it. You know what I mean? And uh, But, you know, I mean, women and minorities, they're not special needs. They're not like, you know, they're not in wheelchairs or something. They don't need these special and all this, you know, the Guardian crying all day long. That, you know, there's not enough women being nominated for things. This is all condescending bullshit. It's tokenistic and it's nonsense. So that's what I've got to say here on the report today. So there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you.